What's up everybody, this is Yair and today we are going to draw cell. Okay, so today we are going to draw perfect cell from Dragon Ball Z. As you can see, I started by drawing a perfect square, each side is 5 centimeters. And without further ado, we are going to start by drawing cell's face. As you can see, this is gonna be a frontal pose. We'll start by drawing the lumps above the eyes. Next, we'll draw his cone-shaped head, one on each side. Next, we are going to draw the eyes by using three lines, two diagonals and a curve underneath, just like almost any Dragon Ball Z character. We'll draw the iris and the pupil. And then we'll draw Cell's nose by using five lines. We'll give him a nice smirk, very close to the nose, just like always. And then we're going to refine his chin and his ears. We'll do some adjustments along the way. Next, we'll get rid of all the unnecessary guidelines. And we'll move on to draw the torso. We'll start with the neck by drawing two curves, then two more curves, one on each side to create the trap muscles. After that, we'll use this guideline to mark the chest area. We'll draw the chest. And then we'll draw the neck muscles with his Adam's apple. I'm gonna do some more adjustments to the face. Awesome, don't forget to add the famous cheek marks. We'll do that by using two diagonals and some curves. And then we are going to draw a lot of spots on Cell's head. As you can see, I'm creating them by using three to five lines, just a bunch of geometrical shapes.
will give some thickness to the eyes. Also, so we are done with the sketching process and now we can move on to the inking part and to the shading later on. What you need to do for this process is having a black color pencil or a black pen. Make sure to rotate the page so you can have your natural hand movement and then simply go all over the lines. You can do that by pushing lines or by pulling lines. Perfect. And now we can move on to the shading part. So first I'm going to mark all the shaded areas of cell. For this drawing I want the main light source to come from the left side, which means that the right side will appear darker. Now if you guys don't know, this process is called cell shading. It's what they do in 2D animation, traditional and digital as well. Once we are done with that, I'm gonna shade all the darkest areas. I'll do that by holding the pencil closer to the tip. That way I can apply more pressure and therefore get a darker tone. So just gonna fill up all the spots. We're going to do the same for the face and the neck. Next, we're going to move on to the mid-tone. For this process, I'm gonna hold the pencil at the center. I still want to apply pressure, but not as much as before. Of course, make sure to shade in the direction of the shape and as you guys can see, I'm simply adding some layers of lead until we get a mid-tone of grey. And the final tone will be a bright grey. For that, we're going to hold the pencil closer to the eraser. That way, we can apply even less pressure and get a brighter tone of grey. But of course, shade in the direction of the shape. So we'll go on and do the same process for the face and for the head. And to finish up this drawing, all we need to do is color Cell's eyes. If you guys don't remember, his eyes are actually pink. 
And we are done! Everybody, this is how you draw perfect cell from Dragon Ball Z. Please let me know how you did in the comment section. And if you guys want to do this step-by-step -step tutorial of Super Saiyan Goku from Namek, you can click the link in the description box and in the pinned comment. If you click the link, you will get a free month on Skillshare where you can do other tutorials from various great artists. That's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep being awesome and I'll see you on the next video very soon. Peace.